Hello my loves, thank y'all so much for joining me today. Uh, today's video is going to be uh, the reading for the sign of Pisces for the Pluto um, Mercury retrograde and also for uh, the new moon. We do have the new moon happening tonight. Um, this is the new moon in Gemini. So um, it's going to be um, about everything that's gone on during the eclipse is now coming to an end. So that's basically what this uh, new moon symbolizes for us. Um, so hopefully you guys have had um, a good um, a good season or um, good experiences throughout this uh, this time. But I know with Pluto being in retrograde and then Mercury being in retrograde and now with the the new moon coming, it can do a lot for us emotionally. It takes a lot out of us, so I just want to make sure you guys are are okay and what experiences you've had um, during this time. But um, this video will be the reading for uh, the sign of Pisces, and these are messages for the Pluto and uh, Mercury retrograde. I will be using um, my tarot deck, my Alice in Wonderland tarot deck, which I have right here. Um, I know I just use these for um, daily messages, but I figured, you know, it'd be a good time to use it for reading as well. So uh, I pulled the cards just to kind of save on time. And um, so now we can begin. Okay, so the first card is the Six of Spears in Reverse. So the Six of Spears in Reverse is um, saying that you may have gone through like a difficult um, period in which you, you wanted something to work out, but it didn't. And you're kind of like having to deal with the after effect of it. Like you're having trouble coming to terms with um, with an outcome that you didn't want. So, um, this card is saying, like, even though it seems like all hope is lost or, you know, whatever the case may be, don't jinx yourself with negative thinking. Um, get out of that headspace where you feel like it's not going to work out or whatever. I mean, there's something coming for you. Um, like something good. Whenever, um, whenever we go through things like that, this is just a message from the universe saying that, hey, you know, don't worry about it. You know, it's it's not really that big of a deal. I mean, all you can do is just cut your losses and, you know, um, put it behind you and then hope for the best later on. Um, and it, that's usually what it means, like that something good is coming your way. So with this out of the way now, um, you can rest easy it might take some time for you to get over but once you get over it it just makes um clears a path for something new and better to come along the next card is the page of spears now the message here is that um you put a lot of effort into into this thing that you you really wanted, uh, <clears throat> whether it was like a relationship or like a a job or or whatever something that that you felt was important to you, but you were so eager for it to happen and you were too over eager and you overshot it and now it's like, what did I do? You know, kind of like the the image in this card, um, the two of clubs here we see is painting. The rose is red. Clearly, he when he planted them, they were white. So he realized the mistake, and now he's trying to cover it up by painting the roses red. And that's basically what what you're trying to do. Like you're trying to right the wrongs that that uh, that caused this. So um, you know, you're kind of like thinking like, where where did I go wrong with this? Um, what could I have done differently? Um, but you can't think like that, you know, because take this as like a learning experience. Um, it's just that things are, are going to get better. There may have been like a little bump in the road, but things are going to get better for you. You just have to stay positive. 
The next card is the Four of Spears in Reverse. And the Four of Spears in Reverse is you're feeling as though like you're um, you're stuck in limbo because of what happened, because you know things didn't work out the way that you hoped they would. Um, you're beating yourself up over it and you, you can't do that. Um, you have to just learn from it, learn from the experiences um, and, and then you move on. Because if you dwell on something long enough, it's just gonna you know, eat away at you and you're never gonna get anything done. You're never gonna get to where you need to be. You're just gonna be stuck on that one thing and it's, it's not gonna change. So this is telling you like, don't worry so much, don't focus so much on this one thing just take it as a learning experience um and then use it to fuel that energy that you need for this other thing this better thing that's coming along next is the wheel of fortune in reverse so because of all this that's going on you just feel like you're going in circles like you're not, you feel like you're not accomplishing anything. You feel like nothing's getting done, but you have the power to change it. Change the course of, of things and how they are. It helps to kind of step out of your routine and try something different to change things up. Um, you're, you know, you're the one that's getting these wheels in motion. Like you don't want to go back. You want to move forward that's the ultimate goal is that you want to move forward in this and you can't just stay stuck on one thing you know you have to take those steps in order to uh, set the wheel again in motion like moving forward instead of back um, so this is the message of this card just to change things up and and when you find it things are finally working out the way they, they're supposed to work out then you know that that was the problem like because you're you're still stuck on that routine then everything is just on repeat over and over and over until you finally step outside your comfort zone try something different and then you'll see that positive things will start coming your way next card is the fool and this is preparing you for something better, for uh, new opportunities, for um, adv new adventure in your life, maybe in relationships and jobs, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, this is a good sign for my Pisces. Um, you guys are always like, you know, the adventure. You're curious about the world around you. You um, you always want to um you're always waiting for the next best thing and this is what this card is telling you don't be afraid to take the plunge don't be afraid to try something different because that alone will get you out of that repetitive you know routine that you're you're stuck on and and get the get the wheels turning in the right direction again um and you'll see that once that happens that things will start um happening for you good things will start coming for you and you can continue to live live life happy and free and content and that you know that wild spirit that um, you guys always have the last card is transformation and basically you know it it is what it is at this point. That's that's what's going on. Every bad thing that you've experienced now is finally going away. It's coming to an end. You had to go through that to get to the good things that are coming your way now. Um, sure, it didn't work out you know, the way you wanted it to or whatever the case may be, but um, it doesn't mean that, you know, just because that didn't work out, that that's the end something better is coming along and you just have to um be patient and i mean i know i know you want it and i know you want to act impulsive but you can't do that you have to just let 
um, the universe deal with it um, and then bring it to you whenever the, the time is right. And when the time is right and it does happen for you, then you'll see why it took as long as it did because it was waiting for the right moment for you. And those are your messages for the sign of Pisces. Take what resonates with you, what doesn't resonate with you, can resonate with someone else. Um, and that is it for the uh, series on the Zodiac for the, um, the Pluto retrograde, for the Mercury retrograde as well, for all the signs. Uh, I hope that you really enjoyed my, my series and I have a couple more coming up that um, I also wanted to um, share with you guys. So that being said, thank y'all so much for being here with me today. Um, I wish you all the best during, um, during this time um, and that the new moon brings some positive changes for you. And for my Geminis out there, happy Gemini season. Remember, guys, to be um, open with communication. Um, and that being said, I love y'all very, very much. I am so glad that I uh, get to do these videos for you and to share these, these experiences with you. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.